let's chat. Let's chat about something that I think you may not have chatted about, maybe ever. I know it's pretty presumptuous that I assume that I know what you talk about. And I'm not trying to make really dramatic assumptions. I'm trying to tell you that I, too, haven't had this chat in a little while. What's the chat? The chat with my business. The conversation that you have with your professional outlet, your work, your uh, business that you own, the side hustle that you've been working on so hard. I think that we think of work as a place to go to, a task list, um, a certain set of achievements. What if we started to think of our work, of our professional expression as a relationship? What if you and I started to fall in love with our work again? What if we said, you know what, I'm excited about my future. I'm excited about the way that I interact with my clients. I'm excited about reaching my audience. What does it take to get to that place? In business, we like to talk about this thing. You work in your business or on your business. Many of us are inundated and burdened with the, all the tasks that are part of working in the business. You have clients, you have calls, you have finances, you have a lack of something, right? During these times, it's really unfortunate but true that a lot of times we are feeling the pinch, we are feeling the impact. And often the impact is no joke, really deeply impactful. What if we started to work on our business, spend time with our business, spend time with our work, spend time with our value proposition, spend time thinking, why did I get started in the first place? I was talking to uh, my associate Stephanie about my very first opportunity to have a job. And I was very young. Um, where I grew up uh, in Europe, we get the opportunity to do practicums from the time we're in sixth grade. So I remember my first, uh, my first practicum in sixth grade was at a law firm. At the time, I thought that I wanted to be an attorney. And I just was so excited to be able to go to work for three weeks, uh, be able to go to this law firm. And I remember pushing the button of the elevator and going into the elevator and going up the elevator after I pushed the second button because that entire building only had three floors. But I felt like I was going up the elevator to work, to this place where adults get to explore ideas and get to have an impact and get to serve their clients and their customers. And that just really excited me, that feeling I will never forget falling in love, that sort of summer love, that strawberry wine kind of feeling with your business. I know that during times of incredible impact or during times of really um, being really super busy, really impacted with a lot of work, um, whether you're impacted with lots of work or you're impacted by not having enough work. Now is not the time you may think to fall in love with your business. I think it's exactly the time. There's always a good time to spend time with your business, with your work, with your value proposition, with why you do what you do. It's always a good time to sit down and be in that relationship, have that conversation, work on your business. What does your work need from you? What does your career need from you? What do your clients need from you? What do you need from your business? Do you need a little bit more time? Do you need to be re-inspired? Do you need to hire a coach? Do you need to sit with your girlfriend and a good cup of coffee or a good glass of wine, depending on the time of day, and talk it through? Do you need to get really honest with your business? Do you need to talk about the things that are not working and really esteem the things that are working? These are the questions that you can jot down for yourself on a notepad 
in your journal, on a sticky note, on your mirror as you're putting your makeup on, and answer those questions for yourself. Spend a few minutes. It's date night with yourself and your work, your business, your professional self. All right, so here are three things that I think about when I think about my falling in love with my business again. That feeling of deep appreciation, excitement. I can't wait to see you again. I can't wait to be with you. That kind of a feeling, right? Romanticizing the work, I know. It's unusual, but it's the relationship that I'm after. So the first thing that I look at is curiosity. I said it in this video several times. I like to say, what if? Or what else is possible? Often a problem presents itself and it is so matter of fact and it comes with so much proof. It comes with so much certainty that we tend to fold into the problem rather than rise above it. What would it look like if we were curious about the things that we're feeling challenged with? What would it look like if we asked what if or what else is possible? And then the other thing to be really um, honest and excited and, and sort of um, self-reflective about is the capabilities that you have in your business as a business owner, as a person, uh, a professional in your career. What is possible? What are your capabilities? What are your strengths? Here is a great question to ask yourself as it relates to capabilities. What have you learned so far in 2020? It is impossible that you are at this time in the year looking back at this year and everything that it has delivered to us so far. It is impossible for you to look at this and not have learned something not have been fortified in your capabilities in some way. Trust yourself. Trust yourself in being able to recognize that you are being, that you're growing, that you are learning, that you are being the kind of human being who's being, who, who's moving through this, uh, learning and being fortified in your experiences. And then the last third part. So we have curiosity, we have capability, and then we have the third C, and that is consistency. I, I love when I hear, uh, when I tune into a message that I have to hear for myself. Does that ever happen to you? Where you think, I, 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 need, to be, I need to be more consistent, and then absolutely every single thing you hear reminds you of that consistency. Consistency can feel very overwhelming. But I want you to think of consistency as one thing that you can change. That's been a message that I've been hearing a lot for myself lately. Rather than having to be consistent with the 9 million things that I'm trying to do every single day and the massive changes that I want to experience in my life and in the life of my team and my clients and my community, rather than being completely overwhelmed with all of that, paying attention to one or two, maximum three things that I can be consistent with. One of the things that I have been inconsistent with is my physical exercise and I'm totally feeling the um, the effects of it but I'm also beginning to feel the shame of not having done the work so what does it look like to do one thing to begin to be consistent in that one small area of your life so again curiosity capability and consistency the three C's um, of of, of a practice that you can engage to fall in love again with your business, to fall in love again with your professional ex expression. And if you are, if you're looking to, to expand on your professional expression, if you're looking, maybe you're looking to expand in your career or, or reorient yourself in your career, pay attention to the fact that your professional life is an expression of who you are. Right? Just like every relationship you're in, it's, you bring yourself to the table, you bring yourself to the relationship, 
and it's an expression of the efforts and 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 the time and the and the character you put into it your work your professional existence is an expression of who you are spend time with it spend time on it spend time in it uh, spend time with yourself and your vision for your professional self Thank you so much for listening. I love your thoughts and your ideas. I love your comments, whether you put them in the comment box or direct message me. I really appreciate your thoughts. Thank you for sharing with your colleagues and friends. I live for your comments. I live for the interaction, that relationship. I want to spend time with you uh, and hear what you're having to say. I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.